All right, guys, I want to show you a few weak spots on the X-Max body, which I encountered on my very first run. When I flipped it over, I popped out this screw here from the body, that one, and this one. And basically only one is holding it right now. So let me give you a little close up here and show you. Can you see those screws moving up and down there? Yeah, I popped them out. They get pulled off the body, all three of them. So. I'm gonna make some plastic washer and put here. I'll do all four to make sure that they don't pop out as easily as they did the first time. See this? So I'll lift up. So three of them is out. See, just this one here holding it. I'm gonna remove this, this whole brace, this body brace right here and pass it over the body. So when you flip over again, this piece of plastic here, which is like the rib cage for the body, would be over here. So that would break the fall. And you'll have to come to somewhere here to get at the bottom to connect. So this is what I'm thinking about. And I'm just gonna have to find the best place to put the hole so I can get it down at the bottom. All right, so let's move on so I can show you what's going down here. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the screws here. Got two screws holding this here. Allen head screws. And Traxxas was kind enough to give us the Allen key. It comes with the X-Max. So you don't have to go searching for Allen key. So I'm gonna remove these two screws and I'm gonna show you how this thing come apart. So one screw, let's get to the other one. There we go, those are the two screws. And let's flip this over. And now I'm gonna remove those two at the back here. There we go. It's got a different head at the back. It's kind of flat headed. And those up front is kind of narrow headed, very small. go all right let's put this over show you how this come apart okay just like that simple like that guys so now the journey is to put this the journey now is to put this over here like so just like that Alright guys, so I want to show you the setup and the meditation that I come towards right now to share the vibes. So while I was meditating on this thing right here now, because I want to get this cage over here, I decided to take out a piece at the bottom, the original piece where it bolted at the bottom, and put it on top so I can get the hole centered to make sure that I bore the hole exactly where I need to put it so I can get that body mounted here on top and have it bolted at the bottom in the right place. I don't want to poke the hole too far or too close then I have to twist it to get where you need to be so this is the meditation that I come up with here I took it off the whole cage from the bottom because I already popped a tree through the body you know so I gotta put some extra washers to hold this so what I did I took it up I bolted it on and I center it which is what I'm doing right here now and I take a sharpie and I look from on top I look on the side and I realize okay we're in the middle and I just dot a little mark right here and I dot another one right there so I know I have to bore this hole on the outer silver piece right here and not inside here so I'm gonna go in with the body passer and and do the cutting out okay so this is what I'm putting together right here and I thought I'd show you guys so if you ever decide to get the body mount over this is a good way to go I just barely screw it down here you know set everything in place so that you have a good idea and all I do, I just center it and I can see where, you know, I need to poke that hole. So I just thought I'd show you so you can do it yourself. So now I'm going to remove the screws and take up that cage and show you my next step. All right, so here I just poke the screws in there to hold it. I'm going to take that off. There we go. So this is going to be sending the like so. I'm going to try not to break this piece off. Let's do this. So now I'm get my body passer just like that. Poke that hole right there. Do the other one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over. And now we can see the holes right here that I already poked. So I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can. With this body passer makes things very easy. Cut the body really easy. So something like that is really cool to have. Let's double check. Okay, we're looking good. Yeah, the hole is coming out good so far. Let's try the next one. So 
It's looking good so far, guys. Okay, not bad. We're looking good. Let's see what happens here. There we go. Okay, I got one in. Let's try the other. If one can do it, two can do it. Just gotta twist them up a bit. There you go, guys. I did it. Yep, not bad. All right, perfect holes. Yep, that's it. So now, let's hook this up, put the screws in there. Okay, there we go. Put it over. And I'm gonna put back the screw that didn't get ripped out the body. Put it back in here to hold it. There we go. Now in place. It's a little bit short at the back to get it to hold. It's pretty tight, I have to say. Trace, I need to hang it. All right, let's stop right there for now. Now I notice it give the body a little kink. Let's pull it up a little bit. So you can do this yourself. You guys see how I poke the hole? You can do the same thing I did. Remove all the rib cage and put it over it and test it and make sure that it's good. So now I'm gonna go on to get some washers and put here. Now we're gonna complete this build. Let's move on. All right guys, so I gotta make some reinforcements. So I got this hard piece of plastic that I'm gonna cut out some washers from. So I can put over here. In all four. What I'm gonna do is take the screw, get the body piece, and press a couple holes, and then cut out a nice piece wall feature, and that will be it. So let's go. And we can take the screw and just put it into that hole, and then we're gonna cut it up, and then we're gonna move on from there. So that is to reinforce the body so we get the screw to hold back in place because right now three is off, and I'm gonna do number four to make sure that we get it right, that we don't have anything popping off no more. So I'm gonna take off one of the screws. Okay, we're gonna put this through here like that to so get some reinforcement there and I'm gonna just try and cut a nice piece out like so I'm gonna do it just like that guys there we go just looking good right there so now we can screw this back okay nice and tight gonna press a hole right there we're gonna remove another screw perfect Right here, I'm not going for looks, I'm going for stabilization. Trying to get this to hold down the body mount really good. There we go, hold it really nice and tight. It's not bad looking. And we got two more to put in place. Let's do some passing again. Okay, we're gonna have to be really slick with this one right here. No mind if it's kind of bending like this because I want to give it enough. All right, there we go. So we got one more to take care of. There we go. So all three up here, two at the back, that get popped out when I flipped over. So we definitely need some reinforcements here. Okay, let's put this one back in here and that will be the end of it. I make the washers a little bit broad. I want it to hold. I don't want it to pop out anymore. All right, so back in place and then I'm gonna tighten this too and get it a little bit stronger reinforcement so you don't pop out all those screws all along the body. All right guys, so let's finish up this build. We got two screws left right here to just tighten and that gonna complete our upgrade with the body. Move in the rib cage from inside to outside. So let's tighten up these two screws and finish up this build. So it was really cool doing this little upgrade right here to save the body from, you know, more damaged. Is the very first time I run, I popped all five screws out and three hole and keep the body together. So doing this little upgrade right here, moving the rib cage from inside to outside really makes a big difference. So I think we're gonna have the Xbox body last a bit longer with us. 
this is what it looked like guys put in the extra pieces of plastic at the front and back to hold it to make it look much better and this is what the cage looked like the rib cage take it out from inside put it on the outside so when you flip it over this will take all the banging and bashing now doing that kind of pull the body a little bit you could see it's kind of swell a little bit here but what i noticed it get much much stiffer it's not as flimsy and flexible as it was you can feel it much more firm and it makes a big difference yeah we already put some lights in there so we're gonna have some lights on the trail get some lights in there guys right here there okay well I appreciate you guys hanging out on this little build this little upgrade right here you can do it yourself and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to garage vibes please go ahead and do so we appreciate you and we catch you in the next video i'm out